Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you saw the last video, which uh, I uploaded a little late, um, we are taking the Red Lemon to the track. The whole family, the family that races together stays together. Isn't that how the saying goes, honey? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> and guess who's going to race it today? Owen. If Owen races it, I'd be really proud of him. But I sure think that he's going to have trouble touching the pedals. So I think that maybe you should race it. What do you think? I guess so. Oh boy. Okay. See, she's so willing and excited to race her own car that I put a lot of time and money into to get right. Wow, it makes me feel thrilled. So we're just getting to Cecil. It doesn't look like it's too busy. It looks like we see uh, uh, Nick and I think that might be Fran in the white ZR1 and Joey Mack. Man, I only brought the red lemon. Darn it. Well, stealing my wheels. Huh? Stealing my wheels. Ooh. A little bit of a tailwind. I'm just... I want to see Kristen's run 11s. That'd be wild. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to do a shakedown pass in, uh, in the Red Lemon. Oh, that way, if shit's going to go down right away, it happens to me and not her. And plus, I can, I'll know when to back off if needed. I have a feeling that Kristen's going to be kind of scared, but I'm hoping that she pulls through. So we're going to go tech in, and then I got a camera set up here that that should uh, capture the moment, and uh, I sh and then I'm going to show Kristen. I'm going to show Kristen what the uh, uh, how to like race. I'm going to kind of walk her through it. So I'm all set up to race, and the car won't turn on. What the fuck? The starter's not turning over. What the shit is going on? I don't know what the hell's going on. It's automatic. Yeah. You got foot on the brake to start it. You don't need to. No? Uh, I don't know what's going on. It did this to me once before. I don't know. Maybe the starter's taking a dump. Yeah, like I'm trying know. to make sure that it knows. It's, it's not even trying to turn over. Yeah. And I can't hear if I'm getting a yeah, click yeah. or anything. Yeah. It don't even sound like it's clicking over. Yeah. Let's see if there's any check engine lights or bullshit there. <laughs> Now that you want to raise it, now it don't want to start, huh? Yeah. I mean, it could be a VATS thing. Let's try the other key, which definitely shouldn't do it. Sometimes it's that thing. I thought I turned off VATS. I mean, I get the tow truck driver up here. Maybe you can hit on it for you on the starter if, if you don't have something to tap on it with. Yeah, I'll, but, I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, let's, all right. Let's find out what's going on first. You're much ahead of me. I don't know this shit. Really. Electrical <laughs> stuff on cars, I'll tell you. The, the way they program and everything now. Yeah, it's... It's a lot. It's interesting. Here you go. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe it's best not to try to figure it out somehow. That was weird. Yeah. But... I don't know, it might be the computer. The computer might be okay. taking a dump. Yeah, just jump in lane three and four then, okay? Okay, thank you. Well, we're back up and running. Don't know what the hell that was about. But, we're going to take it as a win. Okay, so we are setting the boost controller to uh, wastegate pressure. It looks like we're all running in the left lane which sucks because I wanted to run in the right lane so Kristen can see the lights, but it, they're, they're pretty easy to figure out. But at least it's only one car at a time. Let's find out what she does in low boost and hope to God that 
we don't get kick out before Kristen runs at all. That would that would be insane. That would suck. That would suck a lot. So I don't think this car is fast enough that it needs to go through the water box and do a burnout. We're not even going to do that. Um, we will find out though. But I don't think it's going to matter because since it's on the stock stall, it takes a little bit to get into boost. And uh, that's where we would really need the stickier tires. I'm not even going to air them down. They're set at like 30 right now. So, yeah, we're just going to go for it. Full send on low boost. And then the wife drives it if this is successful. I'm not going to shut this off until after we get a run. So we might heat soak, but whatever. I just don't want to like run into that starter issue. I don't know. There's, I don't know what that was, but it was weird. It could be my key cylinder that it's just like not clicking over to actually start it. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Woo! So for those of you that have never drag raced before, this right here is the pits or the lanes. Um, they. For today's event, they told us be in lanes three and four. So we're in lanes three and four. And uh, woo. And what what we're doing is, as we get closer and closer, um, we're getting more in the mindset. Now keep in mind that when you race for fun here, you're only racing yourself. You don't have to race against the person that's next to you. You don't have to even like look at them if you don't want to. All you got to do is inch up. I'm going to show you guys what to do minus the burnout this time and then we'll uh, um, and then we'll have Kristen do it see how well she does and then we'll probably race it again on high boost or maybe she'll want to go again if she wants to go again all for it. So we lost the phone, it's been hanging out in the uh, the heat a little too long here, but he's going to go through the water box. You'll see that he's uh, going through the water box, they're going to pull him ahead to a certain point, make him stop there, and then he's going to do his burnout. Now we're going to drive around it. So you can, if you're going to do a burnout, you go through the water box, and then you do the burnout, and then go forward. You don't have to do a John Force burnout, but that's a, you know, whatever you want, just do it safely. Give us a thumbs up. Now, if you don't want to go through the water box, you go around like so. So we're going to go forward and get to the light com comes on. And we got two lights and a green light. Waiting for a green light and go. burnout for uh, for high boost I forgot to turn off traction control if you have drag radials you probably want to do this but uh, it still ran good thank you 12 at 129 she's actually doing good she picked up 30 in the back half that's awesome Is a 2260 foot, which is kind of what we were expecting. I'm gonna lower the windows here, get some airflow, let the uh, phones cool down. But that's awesome. I'm I'm thrilled here. 
so we found a boost leak and I'm gonna run it again we fixed the boost leak it was uh, one of the pipes on the intercooler going to the uh, the up pipe into the throttle body that um, clamp was under the lip instead of above the lip and uh, we definitely want that I think that has everything to do with some of the delay that we got uh, in terms of the uh, uh, the startup. It wasn't until we were out of first gear that we got um, that we got a uh, boost. So, but it's still 12.0 at 129. She's picking up steam, um, and that's just low boost. I think when we get the high boost, it's going to be nuts. Okay, so last time she overboosted for some reason. I don't know why. smoking anywhere? Uh, no. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, something's not right. I think, I think I heard it. I think we're going to be done for today. Gonna take a look at it and then uh, we're probably gonna be out so found out what's going on with this a line to the wastegate popped off that's why we're seeing a little too much boost that's why it's running like crap and uh, it might also be why we may have just blown up the turbo we're gonna find out uh, uh, once it cools down and I'm able to reconnect that wastegate line I'm eating skittles they're awesome Guys, you go get some. Again, I wasn't paid to say that. Hey, you want to see this red car run, Owen? Yeah. Yeah, me too. What do you think it's going to run? What? What do you think it's going to run? One. Yeah, how fast do you think it's going to go? Super fast. Okay, let's find out. Okay, so we're going to go see what it runs. Here, let's. I think he's going on that side. We're going to cross. Here, let's run a little bit. Oh, it's not gonna let us go. Dick. Okay. Let's go see what Nick runs. You suck! Okay, pump gas. Nobody believes it, but it is. 93 only, no meth. Setting three. Oh, it's windy. We got a nice tailwind. It's gonna try the two step for the first time. It's gonna get loud, bud. Let's see if he does the two step right. Okay. He's went sideways. I don't know, this turbo doesn't sound too healthy. Just let 
go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a turbo. I think we are done. Yeah. That turbo sounds like shit. It's over for the turbo. I think we overboosted and that was it. Man, it trapped like five miles per hour higher in the eighth, which would have been awesome. Oh well. Just as a test. Something's definitely up in the back there. I don't know what the hell it is. I got it. Well guys, it looks like the uh, Red Lemons Turbo let go probably when the wastegate line popped off and uh, uh, just over boosted it. It probably boosted to the moon. Uh, I don't know how high it went because when it, it went above what the map sensor can read. So we're done. So we are back at the shop. Uh, the red lemon is, well, kind of well, it's not really down for the count. That turbo, I'm pretty sure, is seized up, or at least it's the bearing has failed in it, where it seizes up once it, start, it starts getting heat in it. Because it does make boost, and then it stops. And it sounded really, really funky. And, uh, it's, and I saw it on the log, so I know that the it, it kind of fell apart there. So basically what I found, just so I'm clear on this, is there was a boost leak up here. So for the first pass, that was a 12.0 at 129 miles per hour, I had no boost in uh, first gear, and before or right after it shifted into second gear, it had all the boost, which was more than the map sensor on the car could read. And then what I found after that was uh, that back at the turbo, a line was not secure, so the wastegate um, basically was staying shut. I don't know if it was staying shut entirely, like never opening, because there is a possibility that that's what happened, or if uh, uh, it was just going to double double spring pressure, which should be 14 and change, which would be uh, a little bit above what the map sensor could do. So, but in any case, the turbo I think is completely done for. Um, needs a rebuild. We're gonna look into that at some point. Uh, got a lot of stuff going on, and uh, yeah, hopefully we get some clean passes, and then the wife can start driving. Unfortunately, that did not happen today because since she's never done this and it's a turbo Corvette, we wanted to make sure that she's got some that it's healthy and it's not gonna explode or have problems going down the track, which unfortunately did. The first pass, it was it was a decent pass but not great because it was over boosting and it was doing stupid shit second pass it was it just the turbo kind of just let go I think uh, and it, it went nowhere in the top end it started making some really bad noise and then uh, the third pass I knew pretty much right away that it was just after I mean I went to spring pressure after fixing the waste gate and then down to like jack shit it was it was bad. So the red lemon is a lemon. It is what it is. What I'm going to do is get her unstrapped, drop her off, and uh, we'll figure it out. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.